I'm making, I'm preparing this meatloaf. I was gonna make it yesterday, but the kids decided they wanted childish food, so I let them get their childish rock though. And now it's time for roll up hearty food. It's like, we talking about hearty food. Mm -mm. Hearty it is. Meatloaf and probably maybe mashed potatoes. I just feel like it always go with it. And um, broccoli or meatloaf, macaroni, and broccoli. But I don't want a macaroni. Or meatloaf, yeah, it's gonna be broccoli because I bought it already. And then, oh, just meatloaf, meatloaf. You know. Hey, we know for sure I'm making meatloaf. I don't know what else. We'll go with it. I know, I feel like mashed potatoes always go with it. So it'll probably be mashed potatoes. Mm -hmm. Oh, let me get these crackers. I thought I bought a big pack, but I thought I bought a little one. A little pack. I thought crack of the mom. We can keep it at four o'clock. Do you have an iPhone or do you need a Zoom link? Hey, hey y'all, just preparing this meatloaf. So, cause it's crawfish, National Crawfish Day, so I'm about to get down to dirty with my crawfish. So I had to, sometimes when I eat crawfish, I lose my appetite to cook. So I have to just get this going now. So hold on. So I done put two eggs in here. It's not, I don't use garlic salt, it's garlic powder. I don't use garlic salt. But this is a lot of meat though, so I gotta make sure. a lot of meat thank you yes yeah, garlic powder i don't use garlic salt but you know what it's a funny story when i first started cooking i remember i was living in california and i was pregnant so i was craving my mother's food Ooh, shoot and then as i started cooking started Ooh, this is cold my food i was like my all my food is salty why is all my food salty so she had me list down what i was using and I was listening to all the stuff, and I wasn't using real, just salt, but I was using garlic salt. I didn't realize, like, how salty it was. So it was messing up all my, I was like, how? I was doing everything that my mother told me to do in the recipe, but I think I had got garlic salt. I didn't know it was a difference. I got garlic salt instead of garlic powder. I thought it was, like, the same. But, yeah. All my food was messed up for like months. I'm like, Ma, I'm doing everything you said. I'm buying everything you told me to buy. I'm using everything you told me to use. But I didn't know the difference between garlic salt and garlic powder. But, ooh, this is cold. See, it's a lot of meat, so I got to make sure it's seasoned. Hold on, ooh.
this is so cold, y'all. I'm gonna have to use a spoon or something. I need one of the masher things people be having. I don't use regular salt. I just, well, I use seasoning salt. Like, this ain't gonna work. I use seasoning salt, but I guess I was, you know, the garlic salt was too salty. In order for me to feel like my meat is seasoned, I gotta smell it. Yeah, it smells seasoned. I think I can use a little bit more salt. Yeah, I'm about to put regular salt in it. It's just seasoning salt. Garlic powder, onion powder, um, some time adobe, sazon, and pepper. Oh, this is cold. Oh yeah, I forgot. I need to cut. I need to cut up some um, peppers for one side because the kids don't like peppers, so. I always make one side of it without pepper, the other side with pepper. Ooh, y'all. Ooh. Ooh, this is cold. Ooh. Look, I'm free to break. I'm taking a break. This is too cold. I can't. Ooh. Okay, what you say? Hot sauce? No, that was barbecue sauce. And then I'm going to be on here for a little bit while I'm preparing this, but then I'm going to get off and I'm going to come back because today is National Crawfish Day and I'm doing, a, me and Jimmy doing a crawfish mukbang in a little bit. Our crawfish on the way. Don't mind my hair. I know it's a mess. I got it in a clip, but I can't touch my hair right now. We're doing a, muk, a crawfish mukbang probably in like an hour. I got a virtual consultation at 4, so that's why I got to get off at 4 for my time. So right now it's 3.13. So I'll be on here to try for a little bit. Like I got to do this consultation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's all I put in mine. I usually, sometimes I'll uh, toast some bread and put that in it. But I bought some bricks on purpose just for that. Mm -hmm. Put in my pan. So I need. So I'm gonna cut up some peppers for the other side of the the other side of the thing where the grown people don't mind eating peppers and onions. So what can I make with this, y'all? My daughter don't like mashed potatoes. But I feel like meatloaf always supposed to have mashed potatoes with it. Meatloaf, mashed potatoes. And what else? Broccoli? I don't know. I'm gonna look up a TikTok. Y'all don't give me no advice. I'm gonna look up a TikTok. What they making with meatloaf? 
she don't like mashed potatoes. But other people do. But I don't want her to eat, eat loaf and broccoli. And my, I think my baby, her and my youngest son don't like mashed potatoes. So this is for the other side of the meatloaf. Where the real people at. This is the real side of the meatloaf. All I gotta put these onions and stuff inside of this for the people that don't like it. Rice and broccoli? I ain't never seen rice with it. Really? So rice and gravy? I ain't never seen rice with it. You see this? This is how I have the onions and stuff. This is how I have to do my household because people that don't like peppers and stuff, and I just think that's childish. You need peppers and stuff. When the ones that don't like it is cheese, though, but still. Nice meatloaf. Rice and broccoli with it. Mm. Okay. Maybe if I, I got to see a video to inspire me. And the rest of the peppers, I'll just leave it on the thing. Because I need more peppers. All peppers matter. Okay. Nice and pretty.
They probably went mad at it in uh, meatloaf, macaroni, and um, broccoli. And then, y'all, yesterday, you know, I, I hate using this pot, but I seasoned it yesterday. I don't know if I could put it up yet because it's still greasy, so I'm going to put this in here for and see, because it's still greasy. Okay, so that's in the oven, y'all. And I'm going to, I'm going to be back on here at like 4.30 to do our mukbang. Oh, shoot. Oh, y'all your most ball. At 4 30, I'm gonna come on and celebrate National Crawfish Day with y'all and go live with JJ. And I'll be back, okay? See y'all.